Good morning guys and girls. Today we are talking about something that as you can see by the pictures that we're going to put up somewhere there, there, there or there. Um, you've got a species that a lot of people probably aren't going to believe exists, first of all. Otherwise something that they know about but have never encountered. And in your last category the people that are lucky enough to have actually ever caught one. We're talking about the St. Joseph. Now, the St. Joseph is also known as the elephant fish. Um, it's a species that is, let's just say, interesting looking. They're not the prettiest of, of fish. They are, they have a very, very beautiful sort of silver sheen to them overall. Um, and the best way to describe them is elephantine. So they've got a, an extended nose on the front um, that's sort of almost like a trunk. It's not, it doesn't hang down in the front, but it sits out fairly straight. Uh, it's one of those shapes that's quite interesting to describe. It's, got a fairly large head to it but its body overall is sort of the same length and then it tapers off to almost a rat like tail so if you've ever seen a ratfish they the tail sort of extends down doesn't have a, a distinct caudal area with the tail that pre presents out you've got a thin sort of extended tail working to like a wisp wisp like end um, fairly large peck fins they generally used for gliding just above the bottom so like your gurnards and things like that that use them just to sit just above the bottom like that and they they can't they don't have extensions like gurnards that can feel but for sitting just above and gliding along now in terms of distinguishing marks that trunk in the front is pretty much mm, the only species you're really going to encounter on the shore that that has that extension so it's very iconic and that's a real characteristic that you're going to see that comes out straight away. So it's not some a fish that's going to be confused with anything else. Now, movement-wise, they're nomadic. They don't sit in one area. They move from place to place. They're sort of like um, gypsies in essence that they're going to be moving through. Your species is, it is an endemic species. We get them from down Namibia, Swap of Munt, all the way up to, they say to KZN, um, they are, I don't know about recorded catches in KZM, but they are they have been recorded all the way up to KZM. There are species that's not commonly caught. Um, it's, it's one of those very rare species. I don't know if many, maybe guys can put in the comments if you've ever caught one. But it's a species that's more likely caught in your, your seine nets. So seine nets are nets that are put out like the sardine nets, put out around an area and, and pulled in. Um, that's a purse seine, otherwise seine can be put as a fence around a school offshore. Now, your, in terms of eating wise and things like that, um, they're going to, with their mouth being turned down and that nose in the front, they're going to use that to sense along the, the, inhab or the habitat that they're in. So, St. Joseph's like that soft sediment, so that muddy bottom. Um, that's where it's really soft, contains a lot of bivalves, a lot of worms, a lot of crustaceans. So, they can actually use that nose and sense around. I call it a nose, trunk sense around the bottom um, and actually use that downturn mouth then to suck in anything that they come across. Um, they are, yeah, so targeting them, natural baits are really going to be your key. Um, worms, crustaceans, so crayfish if you want to use that as bait down there or prawn baits and things like that. And yeah, in terms of size wise, you're looking at something They've recorded them up to about 10 years of age, um, only about 5 kilos, 5.2 kilos thereabouts, and a full length, so it's to that tip of the tail, of 1.2. So, fairly long species, but very, very thin. They're not, they're not deep and fat. Um, but yeah, the St. Joseph, there's not really much else we can say about them. A very, very interesting species, iconic looking fish, and uh, something you definitely need on your, your catch list. Something I haven't caught yet, but uh, would love to. Cheers, guys.